it all starts when started I should say when I was um, when I was 13 I was a cheerleader and I've like always been a chunky girl and and I was kind of okay with myself and one night I was cheerleading and this teenage boy walked by and, and I still remember his name I remember what he was wearing and he leaned to, over to his friend to where I could see and hear him and he said that girl's too fat to be a cheerleader mm-hmm. it did something to me and and I didn't even realize how powerful those words spoken into me were you know, as a teenager and, and a young adult, all I ever heard was, you know, you'd be a knockout if you just lose 50 pounds, or you'd be beautiful if you would just lose weight. You'd get a record deal if you were thinner. And so I just equated my beauty with my size. Then I met my husband, who was this amazing, geeky nerd, who was just smarter than I could possibly imagine. And he used to work for Apple, and he disassembles Macs for fun, and he's just super nerdy. And um, But he told me I was pretty. And he like meant it. And I was just like, not, I'm not saying, you know, go marry the first guy that tells you you're pretty, but um, <laughs> I almost did that when I was 18, but that's another story. Um, but he just, he meant it. And I, and I remember when I knew that I wanted to marry him, he looked at me and he said, I, I know that I know that I'm supposed to marry you and take care of you the rest of your life, no matter where God calls you to. And last year he said, you know what? Um, I, let's have a baby. And I just looked at myself and I thought, I'm sick all the time. I'm touring with Sela. I get migraines. I was getting ill on flights and trying to just push through. And, and I was like, you know what, God, I can't do this anymore. I'm done. I am so done. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to weigh. I don't know what I'm supposed to look like when I'm miserable and I just need you to fix me. And so I just laid it at his feet and I was like, I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Cause I've done Weight Watchers like 12 times. I've done, you know, hip hop abs. I remember sweating to the oldies with Richard Simmons when I was like 13. And I'm like, nothing works long term, Lord. But it was because I had never asked him to help me. And I'd always tried to get skinny for guys or for cheerleading or for a record deal. And it was like, you know what, Lord, I want to get healthy for me so that I can have a healthy child and really be able to minister in some freedom here and not be walking around held up in chains that nobody can see. And God is so cool because I have a friend who I hadn't spoken to in like five years, and she's a nutritionist and a personal trainer and a diet coach. And she has this program, and she said the Holy Spirit put her on my heart, like, call Amy, call Amy. And she was like, I'm not going to call up some girl I haven't talked to in five years and be like, you want to go on a diet? She'll hate my guts. (laughs) So she was like, no, Lord. And like every day in her prayer time, she said my name would just pop in her spirit. And she was like, I do not know what to do. And so she found me and she said, I want to coach you. And since last May, I've actually lost 80 pounds with her. And <laughs> But it's just been amazing because all of the other stuff I've lost on top of the weight, like the anger and the bitterness that I didn't know I carried around inside my heart and the hurt, like I can let go of that boy. For 20 years, I carried his face in my heart. And, and wept when I looked in the mirror because some boy called me fat. Um, so when I sing this song, I just, I share this. I just tell people like this is, you know, I'm still, if you do the math, I weighed 282 and I lost 80. So I'm still over 200 and I've still got a path to go. I still got some weight to lose. But, and so I just, you know, encourage people when, when I sing this to, to stop looking at the circumstances that, that have just hurt them and stop looking at the people and to just look to God. And just lay it at his feet because he can do so much more with it than we possibly ever could. As I lay me down, heaven hear me now, I'm lost without a call. After giving it my all Winter storms have come And darkened my sun After all that I've been through Who on earth can I turn to? I look to you I look to you After all
more fighting left, sinking to rise no more, searching for that open door, and every road I've taken led to my regret, and I don't know if I'm gonna make it, nothing to do but lift my head, I look to you. It's gone. In you, I can be strong. I look to you. I look to you. And when melodies are gone, in you. Let's go.